Greetings, 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 my V family all over the world. This is your chief. Welcome to my Wednesday message with the coolest t-shirt in the history of t-shirts. I got to show you my shoe. I don't know whether Mike can get this. Look at this. Look at this blue. Unbelievable, guys. All right. I'm a big, I'm a big shoe guy. I'm a big sneaker guy, if you all didn't know. Guys, super excited. Dato Sri Vijay is back in Malaysia. I am back in Malaysia. We have loads of stuff lined up. Vcon, Vcon, Vcon is selling out fast. All right. Remember, we decided this year, 2023, the 25th anniversary of QNet. We are doing back-to-back -back Vcons in September. So both are filling up very fast. Please buy your tickets. You do not want to miss these two Vcons. They are identical Vcons. All right. Because we have no venue that can hold... 40,000 people. So we're going to do two identical Vcons. It's going to be freaking unbelievable. So wherever you are in the world, buy your ticket, sell whatever you have to sell, qualify for whatever check you have to qualify, come to Vcon because there is nothing close to replacing the magic, the power, the, the concept of Vcon, guys. Now don't panic. If you see this tattoo, don't freak out. It's a temporary tattoo of a dinosaur which my son put on my hand. All right, so I did not get another tattoo. All right, guys. Now, I've been talking to so many people, the corporate amazing warriors of QNET, uh, the V. I've been speaking to amazing people on my trip to Istanbul, Dubai. Thank you so much, all right, to the uh, QN uh, Pomeson office in Istanbul for looking after so well, Gem and team. Thank you so much for the Dubai office, Hussam and team for looking after us. All right, thank you to all the beautiful, amazing V Ambassadors, V Elite Leaders, ISB Warriors of Dato Sri Vijay Ishwaran who spent time with me. I'm so pumped up. I haven't slept since I landed from Dubai. It is go time, guys. And during this whole trip and talking to everyone, I came back to the office today. I realized that I have not shared in a long time a very important lesson. Right. Now, I always tell you, network marketing is about people, 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 people. And when you are dealing with people, the number one topic that you will learn, you will realize is the most important is communication. Because if you don't know how to communicate effectively, all right, every aspect of the journey of your business, you are not going to succeed. Now, communication is everything. Now, there's one thing I respect so much about Japa, Dato Sri Vijay, our great, unbelievable uplines and uh, founders, is the art of communication. Dato Sri Vijay can speak to anyone from any walk of life, from any nationality, from any religious background, from any background, and still be as effective as unbelievable levels. Are you guys with me? And I watched him, I watched Japa over 25 years. And I realized there's one skill I wanted to acquire 25 years ago, which I hope I have acquired, is the ability to communicate effectively. Because ultimately, if you look at your whole journey of network marketing with QNet, the most amazing company in the planet, especially to the new kids watching this, is the art of communication. From the time you pick up the phone and invite all right, a prospect to come to a meeting or come to a coffee shop or come to a big presentation, it's communication. And what people fail to understand that how you communicate can decide between a yes and no. How you communicate can depend on whether the person is switched on or switched off. How effectively you communicate can decide how fast that person achieves success in QNET, how fast you achieve your TAT in QNET. It's all about communication. Now, the first rule of communication that I want to share with you, Dato Sri shared with me, 
is understand the level of trespass you have with somebody before you open your mouth. All right? Now, this is a very basic rule, but everyone takes it for granted. I hope you remember what trespass is. Trespass is the level of assumed permission, presumed permission, logical permission that that person has given you to decide the degree of relationship you have, whether you're acquaintances or brothers or sisters. Are you guys with me now? And that decides the level of communication that you use to communicate with that person. Simple. So if you're talking to somebody you're not close to, you don't call that person, bro, what's up? That person is going to feel uncomfortable. Then why are you treating me so casually when you don't even know me? All right? I, until today, still call people sir. All right? Oh, in Hindi, I say G at the end. All right? You know, like Nikhil G, you understand? Or whatever it is. All right? It's a form of respect that I demonstrate with my communication. All right? Based on that trespass. Right? The lower the trespass, the more respectful my basic communication is. The higher the trespass, I say, come on, buddy, sit down. I'm going to show you something that's going to change your life. All right? So shut up and listen. That's how I talk to Sati, Adli, Arun, Sati, you know, David, all right, my best friends. But I don't talk like that to everyone. Because sometimes when you are too comfortable with your communication, you actually upset that person. They will not demonstrate it, but they switch off. Because in their mind, they say, who the hell does he think he is? Or she is talking to me like this. I barely know the guy. All right? Don't go and hug everyone you meet. Offer your hand. They might not even shake your hand based on, on certain cultures. Alright? So remember, the first level of communication always is decided by the level of trespass you have with that individual. Always remember this. Alright? Communication is always based on the level of trespass. Higher trespass, very casual communication. Very low trespass, be as formal as possible. You don't want to upset the person. You want to win the person over. That's what we do in network marketing. Win them over to our side so we can help them, you know, rise in network marketing. Number two, always understand where that person is coming from. Always understand what the person is going through. You can read by the eyes. You can read by the smile. You can read by the body language. So you don't crack a stupid joke, all right? If you know the person is stressed, upset, angry, sad, so you need to know the person you're talking to. You need to know that person. You need to know the very moment. For example, I have friends who are very happy the whole day. And they come into my office and they're very sad. Now instead of straight away going into my message, like, come on, listen, you've got to wake up. This is your life. They find your dream. Be a warrior. Wake up. You don't do that immediately. I stop and ask the most important question Dato Sri says we all take for granted. How are you doing? How are you? Now people communicate how are you as a formality. How are you? By the way, we got Vicon. Da, da, da. No. How are you? Stop for a response. And if that response is weak, if that response is clouded by sadness, you pursue and find out what's wrong with that person. Because after finding out what's wrong with the person, your chain of thought that you originally wanted to communicate will change completely, right, throughout your conversation with the person. Right, number three, level of communication. It is always more effective to speak from your heart than your mind. People don't like intellectual people. People don't like people who think they are smarter than them. Even if you are smarter than them, there is no need for you to prove it. There is no need for you to jump to prove a point. If that person says, you know, the capital of Malaysia is Penang, right? Don't say, no, you're wrong. It's Kuala Lumpur. Is it? I don't know. Is it Kuala Lumpur? You understand not? All right? You don't have to say it. You say Penang? Interesting. I'm not sure. Are you sure it's Penang? Ah, let me check. Oh, no, no, no. Penang is an island up. It's an important state. But the real capital is actually Kuala Lumpur. My God, even I didn't know. 
You understand? Straight away, you corrected him or her without them feeling moronic. Because remember, you want to win them over. You want to convince them. You want them to come closer, not push them further. Alright, so always ask the question, how are you? Always understand that person more than you need to be understood. Alright, number three, or number, f uh, number three, speak from your heart. Alright, intellectualism is not required in network marketing. I always tell you, I'm the most gorgeous upline in the world after Dato and Japa, but I'm not the smartest. Because intelligence is not required to max out. To max out, you need to speak from your heart. So when you speak, share from your heart. Just consciously tell yourself, I'm speaking from my heart. So you don't have to be, come across very smart. You need to come across factual. That you have enough information about QNET. The business, the industry. You don't have to be a genius. You don't have to know what's happening around the global economic scene. You don't have to understand the political landscape of every country. You let him sound smarter than you. That will make him feel good and you draw him closer. Ultimately, you want to draw them closer. Ultimately, you want them to come closer. You want them to win them over so you can convince them. Remember that. So you don't have to sound smart. Speak from your heart. All right? When you communicate with people, don't give them all the information in one day. Don't try to give them the whole vast amounts of knowledge that you have about QNET and this industry and warm it on them in one day. They'll be overwhelmed. They will not sign up. Give them just enough that they want more. When they ask, what about this? That's a good sign. If they don't ask any question, you have failed. All right? Always remember, a prospect that asks questions is intrigued to want to know more. So give less, don't give more. Alright? But don't give too little, then they don't know what's going on. Don't give too much, don't give too little. Give just enough so they're hungry for more. You want them to be hungry for more. You want to win them over. You want them to bring them closer to you. Remember your goal. Always communicate your family. Alright? Always talk about your, your, your family. I've got two brothers. Ask them how many brothers they have. Ask them questions that make them smile. How many kids you have? Two kids. Oh my God. Show them your kids' photo, their kids' photo. It connects the bridge. It strengthens trespass. You, you want to win them over. You want to bring them closer. Remember this. Talk about your success, but not in an arrogant way. Communicate your success in a grateful way. I'm so grateful to this industry. I'm so grateful to this company. I'm so grateful to these uplines I mentioned, the founders, Japa and Dato Sri Vijay. All right? Because I was a nobody when I started this journey. I never believed I would actually even make it. But today I'm so proud that I'm, a, I, I'm making some money. All right? But I know it works. You understand? Don't say, hey, I got a Ferrari. I got this. I got that. Look at my watch. What do you have? All right? So you need QNET. No. Arrogance will push people further. Humility will bring them closer. You need confidence, not arrogance. Understand the art of communication. Alright? This is fundamentally important. Handle their objections with the art of communication that I spoke of the eight basic building blocks. Feel, felt, found. I know how you feel. That's exactly how I felt. But this is what I found out. Not in this way. Do it a bit longer, more effectively. Alright? Okay, always make that person feel more important in your communication. Compliment something. Now, don't cross the line of becoming a, a dirtbag, a jerk, especially when you're dealing with women. Don't compliment the wrong compliment. All right? Very, very beautiful smile. Enough. All right? Don't overdo it. You are not here to find a wife or husband. You are here. All right? Compliment their, their watch, compliment whatever, but don't go overboard with the compliments. It will be misunderstood and people will get uncomfortable. Remember, you want them to be comfortable, you want them to bring them closer, bring them closer, bring them closer. Talk about the great industry, talk about Manchester City, again, not in an arrogant way, in a confidence-giving way. Always remember this, the art of communication is important. Don't get over emotional and start crying during talking to your downlines or whatever. That's unnecessary unless you really feel it. Alright? And then when you're talking to your leaders, remember this. Your, your purpose, your, your plan is to raise them. Raise their confidence. Raise their, their belief in the company. Share your experience. Do you know what I went through when I went to Vicon? Do you know what I went through when I went to Simia? Do you know what I went through when I met Dato Sri Vijay you know, at Vicon? Share. Share, don't teach. In network marketing, we don't teach. 
In network marketing, we don't train. We share. And sharing comes from a position of humility. Sharing comes from a position of connectivity. Sharing comes from experience shared. Don't try to be a trainer. Don't try, try to be a teacher. In network marketing, as long as you share your experience, they will learn. All right? The hard approach is necessary sometimes, but most of the time is the soft approach. Because you don't know where they're coming from. Understand the people you're talking to. Remember that everyone is different. Dato Sri always says, when I speak to you, Patman, I speak Patmalish. When I speak to JR, I speak JRlish. You understand? Because he believes not one shoe fits everyone. Okay, when you do training in a big crowd, one language. But when you meet smaller groups, change your language according to the people. Speaking to women is different. Speaking to men is different. Speaking to the youth is different. Speaking to the married people is different. Speaking to the unmarried people is different. Speaking to mothers are different. Alright, so adapt, adjust, accommodate. Your style of communication has to constantly change. And the final message, alright, the ultimate art of communication. The greatest lesson that Dato Sri Vijay taught me many years ago, I wrote in the mirror, listen more than you speak. That is the most powerful art of communication. Listen more than you speak, guys. So remember, you're building a business with people and the most important thing is communication. The day you master the art of communication, you master this industry, you will raise leaders and I promise you, you will be a max out king or queen. I love you guys.